Spring break 2020 is officially underway. Texas week is split up, meaning SPI is looking a little empty compared to this same time last year. Local 23's Derek Garcia is there with South Padre Police, who are making sure no laws are broken. Derek? Yeah, hey, Brenda, spring break hasn't exactly picked up because Texas week is split up. Even though it's not as busy as it normally is, police are out in full force to make sure that traffic laws are enforced, especially on golf carts like the ones behind me. Spring break 2020 is another year in the books for South Padre Island Police Captain Juan Herrera. He's seen a lot of college partiers in his 24 years of law enforcement and just about every excuse to get out of trouble. Well, the biggest excuse say, but where I'm from, it's not against the law. And unfortunately, we have to educate. Educating spring breakers who are taking a break from the books can be a task, but it's the law. Enforcing driving while intoxicated laws is nothing you can take a break on, even if you're driving a golf cart. You know, whatever applies to your regular own vehicle applies to golf carts. You have to abide by the law. The laws, you got the traffic laws and everything else that, that we would enforce on a regular vehicle. If you're behind the wheel with a blood alcohol concentration at or above 0.08% or more, you're busted. It's not against the law back home where you're from or not. It is against the law here in the state of Texas to include the city of South Padre Island. Last year, our cameras caught bad drivers live on Facebook. The driver wasn't under the influence or intoxicated, just reckless. And the passenger who fell out wasn't seriously injured. Now, please hope that anyone who had a few too many not to get behind the wheel and find other ways of getting around here on South Padre Island. From South Padre Island, Derek Garcia, Local 23 News. Brenda, back to you. Derek, thank you. For a first conviction, a driver is looking at up to a year in jail and a license suspension of six months to a year. For a second offense, the penalties are higher and may include mandatory jail time.